Hello, I'm Sharon Alexander and I am one of the healers at Horwich National Spiritualist Church. I'm sat here just outside of our healing sanctuary. You can see that just over my shoulder there. And this is a recent addition to our church. We offer a healing service on a Tuesday evening. All are welcome from 7.30 onwards. So if you're tired, you're feeling stressed, worried, anxious, maybe you're ill, maybe you're suffering from injury, then come along and experience healing with our fantastic team of healers. As part of our church development, not only have we got the healing sanctuary, but we're actually going to be converting part of the church into a lovely coffee bar and new toilet facilities as well. But our coffee bar is going to be absolutely fantastic and a great asset to our church so that before and after services we can go and sit in there and socialise and have a coffee together. So speaking of services, we have services on a Sunday night, that's a divine service at 6.30, a service on a Monday night, which is a 7.30 service, the healing service on a Tuesday night, which is at 7.30, and then on a Friday night, our doors are open for another service with the medium, Jamie Donnelly. You're invited to come along to any of our services. Every Sunday at eight o'clock, we have an open circle, and on the first Monday of, of the first Monday of the month, we have an open circle as well. So that's the, every Sunday at eight o'clock, the first Monday of the month at nine o'clock, we have an open circle. I don't know if you've been to a spiritualist church before, but it's certainly not a scary place to come. You're not going to see ghosts and things aren't going to start moving around. Spiritualism is about proving the continuous existence of the human soul. It's a lovely place to come, uh, relaxing and calming, and it's so lovely to find out and get real evidence from our mediums that your loved one, your family member, your friend, whoever, that their life has continued and through our mediums they can get in touch with you. We can't promise that you'll get a message every week. We can't even promise that you'll get a message at all. But it's so nice to come along and just bathe and relax in those energies. As a church, we do have principles that we follow and they are called the Seven Principles of Spiritualism. They're up on the wall in our church and um, whilst I'm not going to read through them all, to, all now, the main one for me is the Fatherhood of God and the Brotherhood of Man. I think they're two very important principles about loving and caring for each other and knowing that somewhere there is somebody there looking out for us. And obviously, internal progression of the human soul is a fundamental part of our beliefs. We have an action group, um, which a part, which a subgroup of the church, separate from our church committee. And the action group is a group of members who meet up on a regular basis, several times a year, and we look at ways that we can develop the church and help the church through fundraising and other community events, because caring for our community of Horwich is very, very important to us. We, um, at our recent action group, we have decided to um, hold a bingo night. We thought that would be something very, very different for, for our community to get involved in involved in and that's on the 29th of November at 7.15. It's £2 to get in, £1 per game with guaranteed cash prizes. I do believe there'll be some supper as well so that should be a really great event. Um, at one of the action groups I put forward that perhaps our newsletter should be videoed as well hence I'm doing the very first newsletter so you'll have to bear with me this is the first one that's been done but our actual newsletter is available at the church entrance if ever you should come along and want to pick one up but like i say i volunteered and here i am um another thing we're collecting is foreign currency so anybody that's been on the holidays or knows anyone that's been abroad all that loose change and bits and pieces that you bring back again that, that perhaps is not quite enough to take back to the bank or the agents to have it transferred 
uh, back into English currency, we'll take it off your hands and then we will have that co converted to sterling and we can put that towards one of our special projects from our action group and that is towards building a new church, a new building in the future. Well I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, thank you for listening to this newsletter and I hope it's been informative. Thank you.